Bear. So you kill, you're uh, still doing your videos, Mark? No. No, this isn't a video. <laughs> what are you looking at, Mom? <laughs> Jen said, look at her shoes. We're dressed like identically. Yeah. My mother and I are dressed <laughs> identically. I don't know if it's a complaint or a complaint. <laughs> you can't figure it out. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Give me one second. Or not. Who wants to be my husband? <laughs> Is that like a hovercraft? It's a hovercraft. Anyway. Okay. It's, it's hey. Going rare German breed. Capturing it? German Shepherd's coming right. Yes. <laughs> the S is sized like a German Shepherd? All right, let's go. Oh, okay. So we're going. We're going. Okay. We're going. Hey, you guys ready for the wedding? I am. I'm all ready to go. I am pumped. Oh my gosh, Mark! I'm sitting in the front row. <laughs> so, douche. Do you know how to bend her down? Backward, keep her down. Uh, we haven't practiced that. Are you ready? <laughs> I think my dress is too tight. It shouldn't be. I mean, I think it's going to snap. For months, Leah and Adam, you've been told that today is all about you, and it is. But if it was only about you, this ceremony would have been done with just the three of us. So Adam and Leah, I want you to turn around. Take a moment to acknowledge the family and friends who have come to this beautiful place to share this day with you. This is the only time that all these people will be assembled. They are all here. <laughs> they are all here because they love and care about you. Oh, look who's bringing up the rear, as usual. Hey, shouldn't you go take a shower, Dave? Don't you want to shower before this thing? <laughs> so, douche. <laughs> She fell for a guy from West Virginia, and I had to play along and date her crush's friend. <laughs> Thanks for that, Leah. <laughs> we had a few rendezvous with the boys hanging out by the pool, but Leah was sad if they left, and that was the end of her first holiday romance. <laughs> Flash forward about 12 years, and Leah and I are hiking together in Stowe and her taste in guys has vastly improved. <laughs> she tells me about Adam and their first date. As you all probably know, Leah has known Adam, or known of Adam, for most of her life. As she got older, she developed a crush on the As we chatted on her hike, it was clear that Adam had made quite the impression. I hadn't seen Leah this excited for a long while. Here was someone who sounded like he would be able to keep up with her. Outdoorsy, adventurous, a travel enthusiast, smart, and most importantly, they're both tough Burlington rebels. <laughs> I learned a lot about Adam and his two cats when my husband, Finn, and I housed that more than a year ago. Adam is organized. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the best man and maid of honor, Rob Music and Sarah Gribben.
I've got this that says shampoo. Uh, this says conditioner. This says lotion. She puts the lotion in the basket. And this says shower gel gel douche. Um, so douche. What is that on your pants? Are those stars? Yes. Uh huh. They're not. Those are leggings, huh? Or jeggings? What's the difference? Don't step on the grate. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't have far to go. <laughs> that's not a real gray, that's just for uh, dirt. So, douche. Think about it. <laughs> we love that. It's so perfect. It's practical. Or not. I mean, who the hell wants that clock? Well, there used to be everybody got one of those clocks. Did you get one? No, because he, I don't know the difference. Oh. Yeah. Probably. Probably. You guys still have one? I think it might, it might still be out. I don't know. It didn't work. Swearing. Yeah, they're so sweet. I have to pay a dollar. Oh. And they take one off. They always want to So what did you do? Ninety-four. Oh yeah. You haven't collected yet? Okay. I thought we said once I hit a hundred. It's in hundred increments. And it's in Monopoly money. Oh. She did some grunting and groaning this morning that she doesn't normally do. Oh, so. well, like she didn't want to get up? Well, I don't know what it was. We neither one of us know. So you thought mom was just bringing up pants for me, and you thought I would be like, "What the hell?" Right. She didn't mention anything that she had. She had mentioned them. I forgot. She said she was going to bring them. I don't know. I'm not sure what. Yeah. See, I thought it was just you didn't know, and I was going to be handing you some pants and be like, yeah. here, take these pants. Sorry to ruin your cinematic moment. We'll delete this part later. Yeah? Yeah, that's uh, exactly uh, 500 pieces of wood. Uh, I just say, counted hey, it all. I'd say it's more Sorry, than that. Dave. No, I just counted it all. It, 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 it's not even 501 or... Four ninety nine. It's five hundred exactly. You're wrong. So douche. See if we had a dog, you could take a pee here with us. Yes, but this is another example where Allie. Kaka, kaka. One of these is a bat. I like the cuckoo one. Okay, that's enough. Get back in there. Oh, hey. What's up? How you doing? You must be Billy. And there's Gimme. Kaka! <laughs> Kaka! So, douche. Hi. Howdy. Just wondering where you were. Yeah, no. I'm ready for the oh wedding. Oh my god. Are you? <laughs> That's what you're wearing? <laughs> what? Over oh, the it's very loud. That's how you guys are going for the wedding? I'm red wedding ready. Uh well, we're Duh. lunch ready. Is mom coming? She said she was. Allie, go knock out her room again. We've been waiting for you guys for like a half an hour. Do you have mom? <gasps> this dog apparently drives a truck. It's a truck driving <laughs> dog. <laughs> Wow. Excellent. We're going to eat down here. Looking good. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Oh, you got 82. Oh. Yeah. But it was, uh, it was a great trip. Mm -hmm. it was, uh, I got thrown out. Well, they got a goal. <laughs> Very. Well, so, that wedding photographer said, get the hell out of here. Uh, a little. So, douche. 
crazy originally, like the ones in Richmond. But he eventually built one that could carry you know, like mm. ten cars up these hills and stuff, and sort of proved That's that he was onto yeah. something. And then he went to Boston, and was trying to do the hard sell on doing this underground subway system because Boston was just getting too crazy with. Mm -hmm. You had back then, you had the livery, horse-drawn. Yeah, and all the roads basic are basically carriages, not yeah. carriages, but buses, and they're just getting jammed in mm -hmm. the city center all the time, and it was just creating a mess. And so anyway, he did this whole thing, and it was half the problem was trying to convince people to ride something underground. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it was like scaring people, and they had an explosion one time, and you know, when they're building it. And... You look so pretty. Oh, thank you. I Mark was... looks so pretty. I know. Uh, that'll so be cut pretty. out. Oh, you guys came. It takes a lot what? to get this team together. What, what, what was on TV? SpongeBob. Look, free money. Don't talk. I'm trying to take a picture. Boy, these gnomes are rich. I wonder why they live out here in the woods, though. So, douche. Call it destiny, call it fate, but these two were meant to be right from the beginning. It didn't hurt that Bob, as you know, put it a bug in Adam's ear that he really should call Leah and ask her for a date. And like I said, this guy is really smart. <laughs> he did that, and that's where their adventure began. And it didn't hurt also that they have so much in common, whether they traveling, biking, skiing, underwater exploration, they, they just complement each other so well. And so, that brings me why I'm standing here in front of you now. The toast. <laughs> so, if you are here because you're supporting the bride side, join me in the Polish toast on the count of three of Nostrovia. If you are here on Adam's side, Join me in the Czech toast of Nostrovi. If you don't know why you're here, just say cheers. One, two, three. Nostrovi! Cheers. 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 Cheers.
No reaction. <laughs> I was I was sneaking up behind you to see if you had seen the car. Yeah. No. No, see they were they were trying to figure out which truck was yours and oh. they couldn't. They were afraid, so I think they just went with it. Good. So is this the story about how Gib had to wear women's uh, <laughs> swim trunks? Yeah. Well, it's a little older, but you know he might have done it before. We're not sure. <laughs> I tested them out today, no, Mark. Are you wearing them now? And he might still uh, be wearing I'm not them now. wearing them now. <laughs> Everybody into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not when it comes to pool. Looks good. Oh, 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 so close. Nice try. <laughs> look nice at these. Look, look what you set up for this guy. And now okay, how? Oh, turn? How? Yeah, turn? Yeah. How? Ah, come on. John, just use the other side of the fire. No, he's gonna hurt himself. You don't just want let him do it. Okay. Well, nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that did not go well. Hey, were you wondering about a, um, what? No, I just, I haven't turned it on yet. Yeah. 